Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on golf tips, we're going to talk about the stack and tilt backswing. You may have seen my video last week talking about the setup. Well, this week, we're moving on to the backswing. So golfers, if you haven't seen the video on the setup for stack and tilt, I suggest you do that, because there's some details there which are really important. When we look at the backswing, we're going to break it down slightly. So, the first position we're going to look at is when the club shaft is parallel to the ground, also known as position two or P2. Things you'll notice here is there's no weight shift back with the lower body, that stays slightly favouring the left. You'll notice how my wrists have started to hinge. From the down the line view, you'll notice how my hands are moving inwards. You'll also notice how my left shoulder is moving downwards. And my knee flex is beginning to change. If we move on from here to left arm parallel to the ground, P3, position three, you'll notice how there's still no shift, shift back with the hips. They're staying slightly forward. You notice how my left shoulder is continuing to move downwards. My hands have continued to move inwards, tracing an arc around my body. You notice how my turn is centered. You also notice how the club shaft here is going through sort of the bottom of the bicep and my knee flex is changing more. Important with the knee flex, the left knee is bending forward over my left foot, not moving inwards. Okay, so as I go back, the left knee is bending forward, knee flex is changing, hands moving inwards, wrists continuing to hinge, centered turn. We move from here to the top of the backswing. P4, position four, again, centered turn, no move off the ball with a head, head stays in position, very centered, lower body weight stays forward as well, just slightly at the top. The knee flex has changed the most. You notice how there's no lift of my left arm above my shoulders. So my left arm is on my shoulder plane. Another good checkpoint is the right elbow. At setup, my right elbow is three to four inches from my chest. And at P4, you'll see it's the same distance from my chest. Okay, that's quite a key point. You notice how my knee flex has continued to change and how now I've probably got about a 90 degree wrist hinge at the top. So that's my position at the top. The hands have continued to move in knee flexors continue to change, the shoulders continue to move downwards, my turn of my shoulders is at a right angle to the mount I'm tilted over, so my shoulders are turning in a circle, my hips are turning slightly on a tilted angle, so this one's slightly higher at the top of my back, so you can probably see it better from that view there. Um, and at the top here, you'll notice how my chest sort of points sort of horizontal to the ground. So as I've gone back, the chest has extended, it's not stayed flexed over. That's helped me turn my shoulders in a circle without moving my head off the golf ball. So quite a, some good checkpoints there guys for you to uh, remember for the stack and tilt backswing. If you've got any questions on that, please post them in the box below. Or you can catch me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Hip forward is the key one there. So I'm not setting up from the head forwards, I'm just setting up my lower body weight 60-40. So if you can get that set up right, Hopefully, you're on your way to improving your goal. 